Hello guys, my name is Valeria and welcome back to my channel. This video will be actually a daily vlog about our experience in Bath, but uh, before that uh, I wanted to make an introduction for you to understand more of uh, our experience and the places we visited in Bath. So keep watching. We've decided to go to Bath in uh, on the Easter weekend and we left London on Sunday morning around uh, 7 o'clock. It took us two hours and a half to get to Bath. So traffic was, wasn't as bad because uh, probably everyone was still sleeping at that time and we arrived to Bath around 9.30 in the morning. We actually found a free parking not too far from the city centre next to a private golf uh, club. It took us like 20 minutes walk to get to Roman Buffs. So before that we went for a quick breakfast in one of the local cafes over there and around 11 o'clock we, we went to see the Roman Buffs. The line actually was quite bad at that time. We had to wait around like half an hour to get in when the weather was great, it wasn't raining, so it wasn't as bad waiting outside. And 30 minutes is not as long anyway. And this is a long queue to enter the Roman bath. And I think it's still going just over that corner so probably it'll be like 40 minutes or even one hour wait till we get in so in uh, roman bus uh, ticket area. We've got a combo ticket to Roman Baths and to Art Gallery and to Museum of Fashion because it was coming cheaper if you visit three places instead of just the Roman Baths. I'll insert a few videos uh, from the Roman Baths. So we've got lucky that they allowed us to take pictures and to film. So you'll see with your own eyes how the Roman Baths look like. At the end of the tour, it was one room with the 
It looked like a fontaine, but without the fontaine, where everyone was like throwing um, some pennies and just uh, thinking of a wish. I've done that as well, but unfortunately the coin didn't go into the water. But I still hope the wish will uh, will become true one day. After the Roman bus, we visited the art gallery. The art gallery was, wasn't as interesting as the Roman baths because uh, it was uh, only on two floors. It wasn't as big, so in the art gallery, we spent around uh, like 20 minutes to half an hour. So it's lunchtime and we came for a quick meal to McDonald's here in Bath. We've already managed to visit the Roman Bath, the art gallery and we just need to eat something quickly and we do have to go to the Fashion Museum afterwards. I think the last entry is around 4 o'clock so we don't have much time left to go anywhere else and we just came into McDonald's. I did order the signature burger with uh, chips and uh, cappuccino and my husband here, what did you order? Chicken wrap. What else? Just a drink. Yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> what drink did you order? Coca-Cola Zero. Okay, no calories for you? No. No sugar? No. No. What I don't really know. Just browse and read it. <coughs> Looking for spam on internet to keep you busy? Yeah, yeah, while well, I'm waiting. Maybe you could check our order, maybe it's ready for collection and yeah, we'll just see it from here. We're just waiting for the now to get ready, get prepared. So what do we have here? It has a signature up for me. I'm not into the signature burger actually. I'm not into burgers, but I did try it last month, first time. It was delicious. And we just needed something quickly to eat before we go to the next museum. We couldn't 
spend more time in another place. And today is um, Easter day and everything is, uh, is closed at the moment. Okay, so now I am in front of the Fashion Museum of Bath and I just can't wait to get this. So follow me. A Spence collection of historical gloves. Some of lots as well. The details are just amazing. Newspaper gloves. Seventy years of the war from yeah. what has started. Let's 
go to the check-in. Not too big, but it's very nice and cozy. Very nice pillows with uh, interesting embroidery. This is a nice win window view. It's kind of sofa next to the window that you can relax and then this is the bathroom and a cupboard with the robes okay iron and hair dryer Oh, even the, this one for ironing the clothes. Nice. And what do we have in here? Oh, we have a small present because it's Easter Sunday today. Really nice. What else? Oops. Okay, so chocolate. Ah, this one opens quite interesting. Puka tea. I love organic tea. Okay, some coffee, normal one and decaffeinated, and some sugar sweeteners and milk, skimmed milk. And the Dyson fan here. I do love the rounded shaped mirror. It's quite cool. Mm -hmm. They nice. like it here. Yes, really nice. Nice view. Nice view, yes. What can you say there? Just premium countryside. They love it? Love it. Quite different from London? Yeah. Yes? Of course. What do you prefer more? Oh, just countryside. Your country boy? Yeah, of course. <laughs> nice view on the sofa. Would mm -hmm. like a cup of tea, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Shall I do one? Mm -hmm. Okay. On the next day, we had the breakfast quite early, and uh, then we had to leave and come back to London. The traffic wasn't as good as on the first day because probably everyone was coming back but uh, it was worth it Valerian, thanks for watching. Bye!